Hey YouTube, this is the Purple One. I want to show you a tip um, that basically I probably learned in the military many years ago. Uh, everyone's seen this if you served in the military a while ago, the good old angle flashlight. Um, just so you know, if you're not in the military and you see these, unscrew the very base of it and inside here will be different lenses and, and that was the purpose of that so you'd always have your lens. Then you can unscrew this, put your lens in and there you go. This thing is not bright, it's heavy, it's obsolete today. Um, at, after that, the high speed thing was the Mini Mag. And you could buy it. I bought this one probably at the PX commissary somewhere. It was on post. And then you can put your different lenses in there and it came with a few different lenses. And there you go, you got a red lens flashlight. We moved up after that to even something cooler, but it's not very bright. You can just move the front and go from white to red by just pulling that. So a little bit more high speed, definitely not as heavy as this. So we had a, a lot of these filters left, all kinds. And what you can actually do is get, for the mini mag, you can cut the big ones and you can definitely get two little ones. So I would never throw those away when guys' flashlights broke. I got their lenses so we can convert them into whatever size we wanted. And you can do that. Uh, this one's a smaller flashlight. And all you gotta do, if you can see that, is that's inner tube. We were using these for Ranger B or Ranger Band so many years ago. Um, and just cut one out, put it in the end, and Leave it, hold, leave it over a little bit and that would hold it nice and tight and it would never fall out. So you can make one. This one was actually I think cut out of that. So you can use anything in your kitchen, all kinds of junk. You can even if you're really desperate. This is a bread bag. Walmart bread bag. And you do the same thing. You can wrap it around here. You can either use a piece of inner tube or you can just duct tape it. Inner tube is nice because you slide the inner tube down um, and then you put this on, slide it back up, and if you need to, you pull that off and you're good to go. But there's a lot of different filters you can put on there. Um, diffusers are nice. This is diffuse, and that is a perfect size for this flashlight. And every flashlight is different, so you have to go through your house and find things you can use. But this, this diffuser is nice because if you're doing something and you need white light and you shine it in people's faces, you're not blinding them, causing any major problems. Um, this is just attached. It, it fits perfect on this one. This came off of a laundry detergent big container where you have the dispenser where you can push the button and then you got the cap on the end. So look for, look for it. This fits perfect on here and then you just have a bicycle inner tube. You pull it up. It won't fall off at all. I mean, you can do anything. This is not going to fall off. It is well secured on there. So that's the diffuser. Sometimes even camping, these are nice. You take a pill bottle, that's a normal pill bottle. This diffuses it, so you can set it on your camping area uh, and everyone can get light and you're not accidentally blinding people. Just the diffuser, that's a pill bottle. Also, you can work out an SOP with your group if you need to signal. Go back to old school, primitive ways of communicating. Get that down first and then work on combo because combo is going to go down. I don't care. I've had combo go down in training environments. I've gone had combo go down in real world emergency events. So combo is going to go down. So figure out some primitive, primitive ways of signaling to your small group. And this could be one of them. Not many people are going to have this out there. And, and you can definitely at night signal and it means different things. Um, so you can communicate, especially on link ups. Very important. If two groups are going to link up at night. The most dangerous thing you could do. So there's all kinds of things. Um, that's worth its weight in gold if you got a bunch of new guys in a group and they don't have red lens flashlights because they're not even tracking. You need a red lens flashlight. And why do you need a red lens flashlight? Um, red lets your eyes keep their natural night vision. It takes about 30 minutes if you turn all the lights off for your eyes to get to the best point of adjustment for, for working at night. So you can put that over your flashlights. You can tear it off. It's so easy to use. Um, you can also wrap it around the flashlight. A few of these flashlights, I uh, have it permanently wrapped around. If I can find it, I can't find it. But it's permanently wrapped around. And then you can take 
the rubber band and pull it down. So you always have some tape there. But you can do all kinds of things if you want to signal. See, that's a Mountain Dew thing. That was used in the military if we wanted to use green. Uh, it's a Mountain Dew bottle. Someone always have a Mountain Dew bottle out there in the field. Um, that fits over that one perfectly. You use your inner tube and pull it up and it holds it in place. There's no way it's going to fall off. So you could use a different unique color. If you can find a bottle that's very unique, uh, you can cut them for your group. And that way you can identify each other at night. Um, orange. That cap will work. Actually that cap is on something. I don't know what, what it's on, but it's on something I have. Uh, right there. An orange. It's just the cap off of that. It fits pretty good on here. And then for added security, just pull your inner tube up. If you want to, you can make it even brighter by pulling the inner tube down. So just ways to signal. Come up with your SOP for your group. If your group's three guys, you need to have an SOP. If your group is 30 guys, you need an SOP. Um, headlamps, a must for medical work. If you're working on someone, you can't hold a flashlight. Um, you can put different layers. If it's too bright, put another layer of tape on it. Um, so hopefully this helps. This is very important. If people around you are using night vision, you got to use a red lens flashlight. You don't be throwing on your big old white light. Also, if you throw a big white light on at night and the other side has night vision, you're just painting a target on you. It will show up. Now red lens will show up also, but it's a lot harder to see at night. Um, it will save your night vision, your natural night vision, um, to make it easier for you. Figure out what you got. You got all kinds of bottles you can add. You can cut this out and use it. But your challenge now, if you got a small group of guys, find a unique color that will work for you guys for signaling. And then also get every flashlight where you can put a red lens on it very easy and very cheap. Thanks for watching.